Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel and I am a digital nomad and ADHDer. So welcome to my channel if this is your first time here. I normally do content obviously about ADHD, uh, my experience with it and how I have kind of learned to tame the chaos in my brain as well as my life traveling and being an entrepreneur and everything. Today I wanted to do something a little bit different. I don't even, I when I sat down to film this video, I was like, I don't know. So I filmed a couple other videos, I think, I'll put together my thoughts on it and then if I wanna upload it, I will, and if not, then I won't. I am a very, very new person on YouTube. I wouldn't call myself a YouTuber quite yet because I feel like that's a term that's kind of like reserved for people with over like 30 subscribers. Um, I think I hit 35 yesterday, whoop, whoop. <laughs> but yeah, I wouldn't call myself a YouTuber, but I'm new to the YouTube community, the creator side of things. I started my channel about a month or two ago at this point. I really started trying to get consistent like two or three weeks ago, but I'm very like brand spanking new to the YouTube creator community. And I kind of got here just in time for a lot of the major drama that's been going on with the beauty guru community. So if you spend a significant amount of time on YouTube at all, you're probably aware of a lot of the drama that's been going on with some of the major beauty influencers on YouTube, um, specifically Manny. Uh, so I didn't realize until I started watching like drama videos on this, I thought his name was Manny Moi, like Moi. <laughs> but I've heard him only referred to as Aunt Manny MUA. So Manny MUA, um, Gabriel Zamora, I think, uh, Laura Lee, Jeffree Star, and Nikita Dragon, I think. I'm not a huge like beauty person, so i sorry if I butchered those names. If you haven't gotten up to speed on the drama that's been going on there, drama videos and drama channels have covered all of this, um, specifically my favorite one, I've kind of gotten addicted to Tea Spill. It's probably my favorite drama channel. It's kind of the only one I watched, but I'm getting off track. There's been a lot of drama and careers are being changed over this drama that's going on in the YouTube beauty community. And so I kind of wanted to offer my take on it as someone who's very, very new to YouTube. I really don't have a following yet, like at all, <laughs> but I'm kind of just doing it for fun as a creative outlet and a way to help people. So I'm coming into this very, very new and Honestly, it's been a little bit off-putting because there's just such an animosity between a lot of these creators. Um, you know, there's just, it seems to be this cycle of someone is verbally or emotionally abusing someone else, someone's getting bullied, someone gets called out for that behavior, then there's an apology and then the cycle starts over again. So it's always, you know, one person is always being thrown under the bus and then they have to, uh, put out this apology video and then there's just all this stuff career-wise that happens. And so if you follow any of this stuff with like Jeffree Star and everything that went on with his career last year or a couple years ago, again, I don't follow these people, so I'm sorry if I'm like butchering the storyline or whatever. It just, it's as someone who's very new to the community and kind of like waiting, like I'm getting my feet wet in the YouTube community, so to speak. It's kind of like, am I sure I wanna do this? Because there just seems to be such a competitiveness and a lack of cohesiveness in the community. Obviously there are a lot of videos that people do where they collaborate with other people, but then you see you know, videos about how YouTubers just wanna use other YouTubers to get traction and gain fame and followers and things. And you know, as someone who has struggled with social anxiety for a very long time, it's very, almost like it makes me not not want to be a part of this anymore because this is something that I've wanted to do for a really long time. I've had a blog for a couple of years and I really enjoy just that interaction. Like when someone leaves a comment on something I've written saying that it positively impacted them, that's one of the best feelings in the world. And so I really wanted to start a YouTube channel because I am decently comfortable in front of a camera and I've enjoyed video editing since I was little and I just, it's something that I've wanted to do forever. So I wouldn't ever not continue this project solely because of all of the stuff that's going on, but it is as someone who's not really that involved in this community, it kind of puts a bad taste in my mouth and makes me not suspicious going forward of other people, but almost hyper aware of my own actions. So for example, there is a fairly large YouTuber who lives in my hometown. She goes to the same church that I do when Steven and I are home. And she is like pretty big on YouTube. I think she has like almost 300,000 subscribers or something. I reached out to her over a year ago saying, hey, you know, I love your YouTube channel. I think she had like 
50,000 something subscribers at that point. So she wasn't huge yet, but she still was, you know, for our small little town in Michigan, she was doing really, really well. So I reached out to her and I said, hey, you know what? I want to start a YouTube channel. What advice do you have? And she was so nice. She's one of the nicest people. I mean, I haven't personally met her, but our interaction that we had, she seemed so, so sweet. She was genuinely happy to help me. And so I, a couple of days ago, I was like, you know what? I should see if when we get home, she wants to collaborate. That could be fun. And then uh, watching all these drama videos where people are talking about people social climbing using YouTubers who are bigger than them and just making friendships to use them for their fame and all this stuff. I'm suddenly like, I am so afraid to reach out to this girl because I d so don't want to seem like one of those people who's just, you know, hopping on the bandwagon or trying to suck up to get something from someone. I. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I might still reach out to her. Um, <laughs> we'll see how that goes. I don't know. I'm rambling and I'm probably gonna get this part out of the video, but yeah, so it just kind of, I get the sense that in the YouTube community, there's just this fierce animosity and competitiveness and there is a lot of cattiness going on. So one YouTuber who I followed for a very long time, her name is Stephanie Lang. She is a really, really big YouTuber. She has like 1.5 million subscribers or something. And she is a person who has remained very, very like real in her YouTube journey. Um, I love her. I've watched uh, so many of her videos. Um, and she did a couple videos on the situation as well. And she put things in a way that really, really made sense to me. She said that, you know, YouTube, especially the beauty community has become almost like a perpetual high school lately where there's these clicks. And if you're in, you're in, if you're out, you're out and you're an outcast and people will ridicule you. But then at any moment there could be turbulence and that whole thing gets shifted on its head and people who were popular are no longer popular. And it's just like perpetual, high school. Um, so the main drama channel that I follow, uh, Tea Spill, they did this whole series where they essentially would insert clips from Mean Girls and put these beauty gurus faces on it to kind of depict what was going on. And they called the series Mean Gurus. And it was hilarious, but it was so accurate how they depicted everything because it, I do feel like, you know, like I said, I'm dipping my toes into this space. It is kind of like I'm, I'm walking into high school and <laughs> There's just all this stuff that I thought we had left behind. So, you know, as someone who's really, really new to the YouTube community, I just, it makes me sad and it makes me a little bit nervous, uh, even just to interact with other people, like trying to find other ADHD channels and interact with them to build a community and, you know, obviously kind of get my name out there and everything. It just, now I'm, I'm almost so afraid that my actions are gonna be taken as not genuine and as just trying to like, claw my way up there and that's not the case at all but all of this stuff is kind of just like bleh. I was really really excited about this entire project when I first started it and I still am don't get me wrong I'm still really excited to kind of put the content that I have in my brain out into videos for other people to see and hopefully benefit from but it just I don't know I don't know I have a lot of these thoughts in my head that I'm trying to kind of like bleh. this is why we outline things before we film them um but I just kind of like was like, hey, we're gonna do this because I have ADHD and that's what I do. I just am like, I wanna do something. I'm gonna go do it. I might get my nose pierced later today. I've also been toying with the idea of a tattoo and I've already gotten a quote. So like, I just do things sometimes and it can be fun and it can be not fun, but when you're sitting in front of a camera rambling, it's more on the realm of not fun. I don't know, to kind of wrap this all up, put it together and like tie a bow on it, I guess I would just say that as a community, I think that there needs to be more of an effort for people to just be kind to each other. I mean, <laughs> I don't know when or how, or I, I don't know. I just, there's, there seems to be just this general rule of you do things for people when they can do things for you. You interact with other people when they can do things for you. And everything is about like the followers and the views and the brand deals and the sponsorships. And so as someone who's coming at this with no experience in this area with an outside view and kind of, you know, obviously I don't know everything about it, so I can't speak to everything about it, but I do have kind of an objective view of things. I really want to ask everyone to just be kind to each other. Um, <laughs> that seems so simple and so like elementary and like kindergarten, like, okay, kids be nice. 
but I feel like it kind of needs to be said. People just aren't nice to each other. And the more videos I'm watching, the more I'm, you know, looking at comments on other people's videos, the more I'm realizing this really is a community with a lot of animosity. And I think that's really sad. And I would love to see that change. So obviously I don't really have any sort of influence, but even as someone who has no audience and no influence, I really just, I want to ask everyone to just be kind to each other and just think about things before you post them and say them and do them and make them live and I don't know. All right, the camera stopped shooting on me because my memory card was full, but maybe that's a good thing because I can tend to ramble especially when I haven't completely put my thoughts together. I'm just hoping that as a community, we can kind of agree to just be nicer to each other. So that, that definitely seems like something that's very elementary and like almost kindergarten level, like, okay, kids, be nice to each other. Don't hate your friends. It just kind of seems like there's so much animosity going on and it really just needs to stop. I mean, between how influencers treat each other and comments people leave on other people's videos, it's just, it feels like people don't take a second to think that there's actually a real person behind the camera, behind the keyboard, and they don't stop to think about how it could possibly, what they have to say could possibly affect the real human being that's on the other side of the screen. In general, I just, I really think we need to just be nicer to each other. And it, it's really, really frustrating to me that it's so difficult for us to just be nice to each other. I mean, especially in today's world and the political climate and just, people hate other people so much and it just it makes me so sad because i don't i don't understand it i mean i know that i have my natural tendencies to bite back sometimes and snap at my husband or say something to my sibling or to my friend or to a stranger on the internet i used to get in facebook fights all the time and i just i can't do it anymore because it just like it takes it out of me <laughs> Once you start actually picturing another human being on the other side of the screen, I feel like it makes it easier to just kind of be nicer and have a little bit more of a heart. So that's it. I mean, those are like pretty much my thoughts on it. I just think all of this drama has kind of brought to light how just animalistic people are to each other and how mean people are to each other. So that's it. My challenge for you is to go and be a decent human today. Leave a nice comment on someone's video. Like someone's picture that you didn't get along with in high school. You know, maybe like reach out to someone that you used to bully and apologize. I don't know. It doesn't have to be anything fancy, but even just don't snap at someone who bumps into you at the supermarket today. So just, that's my challenge for you today. Just find some little way to just be kind to another human being and try and make that a consistent habit. So that's all. Yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.